The Masters in Architectural Design is a one-year programme set up for those who don't necessarily want to practice in the UK. It borrows elements from other courses within the school, so you get um, a flavour of what we offer to some of the other Masters programmes and even some of our undergraduate programmes. The way the course works at Cardiff is quite different from other schools in that our focus is on how the students might independently choose an issue and research it through the process of design. In some other master's courses your research might happen in the library or the laboratory. With our programme it happens in the design studio. Students come up with an idea that they want to look at that interests them and they test it through making, through drawing. We've had in the past examples uh, where students have worked on projects that look at the housing crisis, social engagement, economic resilience and innovative ways that those buildings might actually uh, be constructed. We're looking for those who've obviously already completed an architectural programme or potentially a programme in landscape architecture or interior design. I think it's important to come with some sort of architectural ambition, something that you were interested in. Experience suggests that as students engage in a dialogue with their tutors and with other students, those ideas change and those interests develop through the early stages of the programme. One of the key aspects of, of this programme is that we learn from things, architecture that has happened in the past. Students have to look at it, observe it, analyse it. One of the key ways of doing that is through study visits. We, we encourage all of our design units to undertake study visits. They may well be done as a unit, although in some cases students will also travel independently. Overseas visits are often a very good opportunity and commonly our students go to places like Barcelona, Amsterdam and so we try and provide those where possible but relevant to the design units that you opt to do. One of the, the strengths of the programme is having such a breadth of international diverse cultures and labouring experience from those different cultures into the school and that feeds into not only their own work but that of the other students in the, in the year. We have in the school the design research unit who are actively conducting research through the process of design. One example was a low energy building that utilises timber from the Welsh valleys which historically has not been very useful for construction and he's found a way of working with it that allows a low-cost prefabricated building to be constructed in a way that perhaps wasn't possible through this process of researching and designing at the same at the same time. The obvious example is to go into architecture. Uh, obviously they would need to meet the required needs of the country where they plan to, 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 to practice. It's not necessarily the case that they have to go into architecture. They may well go into other parts of the construction industry. Generally the skills that are, are, are taught on the course are very applicable for a full range of careers, whether in the built environment, in the creative arts or beyond. I think the strength of the school lies in our strong studio culture. We have studios that all students can access and at the moment the Masters in Architectural Design shares a studio space with the Masters in Architecture which is our part two programme and also with our Masters in Urban Design. So there's lots of opportunities for students across the different programmes to share ideas, bounce ideas off each other. The studio becomes a real hothouse of, of ideas and creativity where students work together and collaborate. Even though they're working on individual projects, they're bouncing ideas off each other.